Hey guys, it's your girl Kiba right here in Kiba Space and today all we're doing is roasting our breadfruit because why? Kiba love breadfruit and I like breadfruit all out so today I have a small one and all you really need is breadfruit and fire so I'm doing it in house I'm doing it on top of my stove so join me as I get started So yeah, this breadfruit is about two two pounds and something it's very very small guys it can fit in the palm of my hand as you see yeah back in the day my grandmother used to um used to have a tree so yeah so we're just gonna let it rip we start from on the base let it sit and and let it roast i have that on on very high and i'm gonna leave it that way for about eight to ten minutes and then i'm gonna flip it on the opposite side for eight to ten minutes and see what gives um, since I'm doing this inside, I know this is going to get very, very messy. Um, but that's pretty much it. So I'm going to put the vent fan on. And we're going to give it about 10 minutes on that side. So guys, it's been like 5 minutes in. And as you can smell that going. Literally smell that just going. If I had to open the windows to, um, to pretty much get the smell out fire is really high and it is cooking and I know this is going to be a mess on my stove I already anticipate the mess but yeah and I anticipate getting my hands feeling like colds but hey it's night time I want dinner and I insist on having a roasted breadfruit so for all of you I know breadfruit not really in season it's not coming good yet but we just so happen that in New York, there's breadfruit sitting out there. If you smell that, shoot, we burn it. We roast, we roasting. <laughs> but we roasting, and we smelling up the place. So I'm probably blasting somebody with all this. They must be saying somebody burning down their apartment. Yes. And you see when that bad boy burst there, you know it cooking. <laughs> you know it cooking. I'm so excited. Because I never do this in-house. I always are custom. Buying them already cooked, but I could do this myself. Why pay that man to do something I could do for myself? Oh. Alright. So an next 10 minutes on this side, and then we're going to roll on the next side, and the next 10 minutes. Alright guys, so this is what we looking like. We looking good, right? Yeah, I think we looking good. So yeah. But you know when that come out of the pot, when that come out of the stove, I'm gonna need something to eat. So you yield decided. It's gonna be red breadfruit and sardin choker. So we can only sardin choker while that still roots up. I'm on the next side guys. Got pimentos. You know, I can't do nothing with pimento. One pimento, half an onion, and a little bit of tomatoes. And you let the magic happen. Alright. So we're going to turn this to the final standing point for the last 10 minutes. And that will be it, guys. If I can get that to stand up. Yep. So this is my sardine choker. Take it off the stove. Squeeze a little lime. A little lemon pepper. And that's it. That's all she wrote. Hey, right, let's do that again. There we go. 200. All right. So the inside core of this thing is 200. I like to take my temperatures on multiple sides so I can see what's going on. 212. Okay. We're done. Let's that, let that cool for a few. And then I'll show you how it's peeled. All right, guys. So I'm ready. No sense in cooking our breadfruit and letting it cool, right? 
the way it is when it's nice and hot so let's rip it's feel as nice and soft guys it didn't take a whole hour it actually took it actually took me about 40 minutes oh nice it's so soft that's i didn't want it to spoil so that's why i decided i was going to roast it but yeah you want to treat it with care oh and this is not the nice So we don't want the hearts so it was a baby guys it really was a baby so you don't as usual you don't want the hearts lose the hearts and it is well cooked maybe a little overcooked because it was well ripe it was beginning to get soft on one side so you've seen it here Yes, breadfruit and sardines. Yeah, only in Cuba space you'll see that. Hmm. Do you know what it's missing? And pepper sauce. Yep. Oops. I think I might have overdid it with the pepper sauce. I had a sick race first before I chowed down. But yes, you've seen it right here in Cuba space. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tell a friend and share. Somebody wants to know how to do a breadfruit on the stove. See you next time, right here in Hebert, please.